You know, we're delighted that this year um, the player section of the Football Blacklist will be renamed after Cyril Regis. He was at the um, awards last year. He's always been a great supporter of the Football Blacklist. Um, and, you know, his passing obviously touched all of us right across the community. So myself and Rodney, we wanted to do something to recognise him. Yeah. And we think this is the right thing to do. Without a doubt. I mean, I attended that funeral um, at West Brom and it will, it will live with me forever just how he was revered. Um, it was a freezing cold day uh, up in the Midlands, but uh, people turned out um, and there was a genuine sense of loss. So um, the blacklist is about legacy um, and um, for us to um, include Cyril in, in what we're doing now as such or, 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 rem or remembering him, I think that's the least we can do. I really do. I think that's what the blacklist was intended to do when we even though we didn't plan it, <laughs> that's what it was intended to do many, many years ago. So we've lost a, a, an icon and it's just good now that we can remember him in the right way. And can I just add to that? Yeah. Because it was fantastic that we were able to give him the Keith Alexander Award mm. at the last celebration. Yeah. Absolutely. And it was really interesting. It's quite a funny story because I hadn't told him he was getting the award, <laughs> but he yeah. wanted to get back up the motorway yeah. because he had an early start the next day. Yeah. So, um, you know, he was kind of like, Leon, I've got, got, got to get away. Come on, we, mm. we've got to get on with the show. Yeah. You know, I'm going to have to go. So I had to keep him there, <laughs> keep him there, keep him there. And it yeah. was just such a lovely moment when he was surprised by being called up on stage, yeah. received the award. And, um, you know, it was, a, it, was a, it, was a, it was a great moment and um, something that we'll never forget. Yeah, yeah, and of course, you know, when he did pass, sadly, um, there was a high percentage of people who'd only last seen him at the blacklist. So that was a talk. He looked so well, he looked so positive, and obviously he, he was awarded as well. So, yeah, it's fantastic that we can um, name somebody after him. The, when you, obviously you touched on it, Ronnie, mm. that the blacklist was here to honour mm. um, people, but... How poignant um, are these awards now that some of the most revered people in the game have been awarded but they're no longer with us? Mm. I think it's something that Leon touched on maybe a year or so ago when he said that, listen, what you've got to do is try and, and it hasn't always worked obviously with the people that we're talking about, you've got to try and recognise people when they're alive and mm. when they're doing something and it's vibrant and positive. And obviously you can't do that with everybody because you don't know what's going to happen. but. By the same token, it does show you that life is very short. There's people doing great work, um, and the fact that we can recognise them is fantastic. Obviously, not knowing what was going to happen, etc., mm. etc. Et um, so yeah, it's about recognising people while they're doing good work, as far as I'm concerned. And and keeping people's names alive. I know that yeah. sounds um, silly to suggest yeah. because yeah. you know Sir Regis, mm. Keith Alexander, Hugo Ekiog. But you know, just last week I had a. Um, call with Matt Alexander, the son of Keith Alexander, mm. and um, unfortunately he can't make this celebration and he was really disappointed he can't make that, he's got you know, obviously a very good reason for not being able to make it, but he was saying thank you guys so much for keeping my dad's name alive, you know, it really does mean a lot to me and to my family that it is always brought up in a very positive manner, there's time for reflection mm. from the community and what my dad did and also we're celebrating other people, so you know, it... it it, it's, it's significant and again underlines what the Football Blacklist is all about. If the Football Blacklist didn't exist, if it didn't exist, you know, how would we mark these people year in, year out? How would we remember these people? How would we celebrate the people we have now doing great things? There wouldn't be a space owned by us. And I think that's <coughs> the important thing, it's owned by the community.